Welcome to D Thought. Confront your false beliefs. Now, yesterday I talked about re-examining your beliefs. All right, you sat there, you looked at everything, you looked in the mirror, you got, you did what you had to do to figure out what you needed to be doing. Now what? <laughs> you got to confront those false beliefs. I'm going to tell you what, the biggest battle that anyone has to fight in life is not against the outside world, but within. The thing that's holding you back, the thing that your real enemy is, is within. Everything is within. If you defeat the enemy within, nothing without can do anything to you. So when you find, when you see those beliefs, when you have to confront them, and let's be real, that's a battle. You might be, it might be a better battle for you, easier battle to like physically fight somebody or curse them out or do something in the outside world. But that inner battle, oh man, that's some tough thing. That's a tough thing. Because those false beliefs are ingrained in you. They ingrained to the point where you feel like this is who you are. This is your mask. This is your personality. And it, it, But it's not. It's not who you really are. Because first, when you're confronting those beliefs, right, you got to first see where you first got them. Seriously, and it could go back a while. And I've said this several times. I've said this several times. And if y'all notice, I talk about confronting your false belief systems on a consistent basis. Because you have to. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. You have to. And you, I mean, you might have to go back to childhood. You might have to talk to uh, a trusted elder, a parent, somebody who saw some things and can be honest with you. Um, even to the point of getting therapy, even to the point, that's how deep it is. Because the enemy is within, and you have to confront those false beliefs. If you have 10 false beliefs, you gotta confront all 10. Only thing I would recommend is you confront them one at a time. That's very important, very important. You gotta confront them one at a time. Start with the easiest one first. Confront it, face it. And it's gonna be tough, because I'm gonna tell you what with beliefs. Beliefs are so powerful, it affects even how you feel. It affects how you move. Like if you, I'm going to tell you what, beliefs, your false beliefs are so powerful and they drive us so much. They can be a dangerous weapon if somebody shatters whatever belief that you have. If somebody, because if somebody from the outside see it, they can hurt you more than with a bullet. I remember one time, and I didn't mean to do this, but it was a young lady I was dating, and she had a certain belief about why we got together. And I just calmly explained to her, I was like, no, this is why, you know, I got with her, right? And this is what actually happened. And I never forget, she, she kind of fell back against the wall and slid to the floor. And I helped her up, I didn't have anything against her. And if I had known that would have been the reaction, I would have did it differently. I would have still told her because truth, you got to come with truth, but I would have did it in such a way. Like if you got something serious to tell somebody, ask them to sit down. That's how deep it is. People could fall. They could do whatever. You've probably seen it. That's how powerful it is. And somebody evil, you know, they can hurt somebody just with their words. Some people know that. In fact, it's a smart weapon. When you like, and indeed, on a bigger level, that's why you have a lot of propaganda out there and a lot of words, a lot of images designed to hurt someone. It's actually a weapon of psychological warfare. That's how deep it is. So that's how powerful it is. But if, if you confront it yourself, if you take care of it yourself, there's nothing somebody on the inside, outside can do because you already confronted it. Once you confront it, first you got to confront it, right? You got to confront it. And then you got to replace it, right? And I'm going to get into the next podcast on how to replace it. But understand, before you even get to that point, I'm, I'm really focused. I'm really telling you, you got to confront it. You got to face it. The first main thing you got to do in facing that false belief is be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with yourself. This is very key. 
People got to understand that, you know? You got to understand that. If you're going to be, like too many people lie to themselves, you know? They know that false belief is there, but they'll tell themselves either it's not there or they'll tell themselves, oh, it's not important or something, you know? But the person you got to be honest with is yourself. You got to confront it. It's the biggest battle of your life. And once again, I'm going to use myself for an example. As I always, always say, I'm not a guru. I'm, I'm climbing out that mountain with y'all. Some of y'all within like shouting distance of me. Some of you are at normal talking distance of me. Some of y'all can whisper to me. That's how close you are. So we all going on this together. For me to even get to the point I'm at, I am in life, I had to confront a lot. I remember a mentor told me that. he he, had, And this was about 20 years ago. He looked at me. He said, you know what? When you deal with certain things, you're going to kick ass. I never, he never say what it was exactly because he understood I needed to face it myself and see it myself. Because I ain't going to lie. If people told me about myself, I could be stubborn. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. So he he saw that. He peeped that. So he said, all right, I'm I'm." I'll, I'll throw out some stuff, but I'll let him figure it out on his own, right? <laughs> but once I start confronting some things and really seeing it, it's powerful. Indeed, getting back to that thing about somebody else seeing it, I remember there was somebody who told me something about myself, and it was a, it was a young lady. And I thanked her. I thanked her, and she got my loyalty to this day. I go out of my way to do stuff for her because she, she told me about myself in such a way, and I was like, wow. This is what I need to deal with, right? But whether somebody is nice enough to tell you, I don't know. But you definitely have to, have to look in the mirror and say, you know what? This ain't the truth. This is not the truth. And it's tough because, like I said, sometimes those false beliefs, you think that's really true. But I'm going to tell you what with truth. Truth will always be. The truth will always be. In fact, there's a famous uh, jazz piece by uh, a jazz artist named Pat Metheny, and he wrote this uh, piece. It's called And the Truth Will Always Be, and it's one of my theme songs. That is one of my theme songs. And seriously, the truth is already, all, always there, and one thing I always strived is to find that truth, even if that truth was hurtful. But understand that once you find the truth, once you see it, you got to embrace it, but you got to confront those false beliefs. This is very important. I want you to think on that, and tomorrow I'm going to tell you how, what to do when you do confront those false beliefs. Anyway, peace and many blessings.